So this story down here in the defensive ditch, to properly tell it, we actually have to talk a little bit about the bridge that we all walked through to get into the fort today first. That bridge historically was the only way in or out of the fort, and at the end of it was a sentry who was posted there day and night. When they were out there, they were out there for two hours at a time, and then back inside for four hours, and then back out for two. There's a little myth about that sentry, is that they cannot move at all. Now that's wrong. They, they actually can move in a few ways, but what's important to us is a, a maneuver that's known as taking a beat. It's when they would turn around and they would take 15 paces, then they turn back around and take another 15 to resume their original spot. The why that's important to us right now is that 15th pace brings us to right around where the white wooden railing and the metal railing meet together, just about two-thirds of the way down the bridge. And from there, the sentry actually has a, has a decent view into the ditch here. And one particular sentry, he was posted at about 4 a.m. And it was quite dark, so he wasn't able to see much. But he takes that beat that I mentioned, and he notices that there is something laying in the grass, just over there, in, around, around the bend of the wall. Now, sentries aren't really paid to think, they're just paid to do. So he turns back around and he resumes his post, but he, he, he remembers that there is something there that he's never, no, he's never noticed it before. It's, it's something new. And over the course of the next two hours, he, he takes those beats again and again, and whatever it is that he's seeing here has not moved since the start of his post. All the way up until just about 6 a.m., he's just about to be taken off and switched out with someone else when finally he is able to see something here in the ditch. And he sees a woman in a long gray tattered dress lying face down in the grass. And this alarms him and he goes and he calls out for the corporal of the guard who would have just been on the other end of the tunnel inside. The corporal and the uh, a different sentry that would have been uh, brought out of the guard room they rush down here through this sally port behind all of you and they rush over to investigate because, well, they see a woman lying down here in the, in the ditch. And as they go over and investigate, they notice two things about her just about immediately. First is that very evidently she has come off the top of the wall right up there. And then the next thing they notice is that it was not the fall that killed her. What? evidently killed her was the large slash through her throat. The next thing they do is they raise the entire fort to high alert. What that entails is, among other things, waking up every single soldier in the fort and forming them up for roll call. Given that the, the soldiers were actually locked inside their barracks at night time, when they were all present and accounted for, that means it couldn't have been any of them. And next, they start to form patrols and they search the entire fort head to toe. And again, they don't find anything. There's not a whole lot of places you could be hiding in this fort, partially because every single room would have been either locked, occupied, or both. And they aren't able to find anything. And the next thing they do is they, they hand this scenario over to the police in Halifax and they aren't able to do anything either. It clearly isn't a military manner anymore because the, the woman in question has no association with the regiment. She's not the wife of a soldier, she's not part of the staff, she, they, no one knows who she is. The first thing the police try and do is put out posters to, to have someone come and identify her. And no one ever came to identify her. And unfortunately, this story has no clean resolution. That is where the trail has run cold ever since. To this very day, she has never been identified. No one even knows who she is. Really the first time that anyone knows they saw her was when they were found dead at the bottom of that wall.